Hello, I'm Joe Onisic, director with Cisco's NCMA Business Unit. I'm here to introduce our new analytics appliance for the data center, the Tetration Appliance. When we first launched ACI, ACI was a revolutionary way to look at software-defined networking, a way to map applications in an abstracted fashion down onto the infrastructure without having to worry about all of the technical details underneath. But one of the issues that we had was we knew we had to give customers a way to discover existing applications and map those into the ACI policy model. So we set a team aside to work on that problem. And what they worked on was an automated fashion for application dependency mapping that could be modeled directly into the ACI system. That appliance is Tetration. The first thing we looked at was where to collect the data from. And the first place we wanted to start was with network switching. In order to collect the data we needed from network switching, we had to change how network switching works in some fashions. We had to be able to get more granular data at full line rate flows from the network. So our engineers and scientists built some algorithms that we were able to build into the modern silicon that allows us to collect line rate data of the flow information passing through that switch without a performance hit on that switch. So think of it as a silicon-based agent that sits in our latest generation data center platforms on the Nexus 9000 platform. That agent collects the flow data and sends it out. The next thing we needed to do to really look at the application was get as close to the application as we could. So we needed to get within the operating system. So we built very lightweight agents highly in a highly secured fashion that we could load into the operating system. Those agents can sit in virtual machines and they can sit in physical machines, collecting the flow data for what's talking and we can also collect things like the service name, who kicked it off, what time that service was kicked off, so on and so forth. And that data all gets exported. That data is all going to our Tetration appliance, which you can think of as a big data cluster appliance. That appliance is collecting this data at about 1.5 terabits per second ratio, a rate, and then crunching those numbers and turning that back into usable, actionable information in approximately 10 minutes. So I can collect all this data and start turning out ACI application profiles or application dependency mappings within about 10 minutes, giving you back that idea of a one app model that you can deploy onto your ACI system. The appliance itself consists of big data names that you would know, such as Hadoop and other real-time systems uh, that allow us to crunch numbers in real time, as well as a lot of Cisco intellectual property that our teams built to be able to handle this amount of data at this speed. The beauty of having two collection points is there are other things in our data center that may not be supportive of an agent, things like mainframes and Unix systems. So in that case, we can simply plug those other systems directly into a switch with an agent and still get visibility into the applications that are touching that particular device. We also have the agent in the server. Those can be plugged into the switch as well, now giving me two perspectives of the same flow to make sure I'm not missing any information that may be going on. So now we can start to look at what the Tetration appliance actually does for us beyond application dependency mapping. With all this flow data, the Tetration appliance is actually deduplicating all that data and storing an independent flow record or a deduplicated flow record for each flow that crosses your network. So now you've got a historical database of all of the flows or all of the network activity that you've had in your data center since deploying the Tetration appliance. This allows me to do some very advanced forensics. So if I had some sort of data breach or some sort of problem, administrative mistake or whatever, I could go back to the Tetration appliance and replay the flow transactions during the period that I thought that breach or mistake had happened so that I could see exactly what was touched, exactly how that progressed through the network, and be able to report that back out from a forensics perspective. I can also use that flow record information in a very unique way. One of the th problems with implementing tighter and tighter security is the risk of breaking something production that's serving the business while implementing tighter security. Because the Tetration appliance has these flow records, sitting resident within the appliance, it can actually do a logical test of what a security implementation change would do and the effects it would have on your current flows. For instance, if I wanted to make a fire rule change or an ACI, a change to an ACI contract, I could have the Tetration appliance analyze that against historical flow data and show me if I would be breaking something in production prior to making a change. The Tetration appliance also can sit resident in the data center after being doing these dependency mappings for real-time analytics over time. So now I can start to see if I have anomalies in my network, if I have problems that are either administrative or malicious, and report those in a very, very fast and efficient fashion. So the Tetration appliance is a big push for Cisco into the analytics space, and it's going to make a major splash in the data center space, especially for onboarding ACI. Thank you very much.